I am Marvin Epstein, I'm one of the principals of a company called Carme International. It's an entrepreneurial membership organization where we have chapters throughout the country. So Karma International is a membership organization and because we have chapters all over the world, it's an event-based group. We produce events for very large corporations, including for our own members. And one of the things that we did was we built a technology several years ago so you can actually go online and see all the information you need for the events. You can RSVP, you can do everything you want inside what we call our Karma Member Lounge. In addition to that, we have about 26 nonprofit organizations that we also support directly and indirectly, and we use that technology also. What we realized over time is the technology is so expensive that the charities can't afford to actually license it. So now, because there's now this crypto opportunity where there's decentralization and there's a way to license the technology, instead of actually having them pay a licensing fee, we're actually giving them the token and creating an adoption mechanism. One of the exciting things that's happening, as most people are noticing, is the proliferation of so many ICOs. And the value of the ICOs, one, because when you can do something in a more efficient way than a traditional public offering, which is a long, arduous process and very expensive, that's one reason why there's more ICOs. The other reason is because when you can do things with a smaller staff, smaller management, smaller scale, serial entrepreneurs are getting involved in realizing that their access to capital beyond just the traditional capital is by doing it through a smaller community. So what they've done is they've created different opportunities, whether it's in the media space, the agriculture space, communication space, in our case, event space and nonprofit space. And all those different industries, they usually take thousands and thousands of hours of people power and effort and resources and capital are now finding more efficient ways to actually promote, produce, and present their products and services to the communities and the rest of the world. One of the things that I've encountered that I would tell everybody, I personally have a traditional finance background, so I understand the pitfalls that came into when somebody's launching a typical public offering. In doing an ICO, you can do things more efficiently and it is more cost effective. However, keep in mind, just like a traditional public offering, a company still needs to have a significant and a stable underlying business model. What does that mean? It means that you really need to understand the infrastructure, the management, the science, are you fully capitalized, and is the market really something that's gonna appreciate and want whatever your product and service is? If you're building on those five cornerstones, those are things that you can look to as tips to be able to utilize before you launch your own ICO. And if you check all those boxes, then chances are you'll have a very successful opportunity. One of the things that's been very interesting as somebody that's been in finance is now they have something called security tokens. Security tokens are to a certain extent something similar to the traditional sense of what's called a warrant. And without going into the technical part of that, it's something that the securities industry is looking at now very seriously because they realize it's something they can offer the general public. Where normally you have to have a what's called an accreditor investor background, where now you can actually be anybody that actually wants to participate in the offering. The good news is it's a lot easier to get involved. The challenge and what I would say is something to look out for is you really need to understand in what your obligation is to the security and what the criteria is that they establish to make it a security token. There's very specific things that go into making something a security token. And if you understand that, or if you know somebody that understands that, that should be your first step in the due diligence process before you participate. One of the things that ICOs have done is they've established a unique element to, as I said before, cost-effective financing. So what that does is, that's gonna launch a lot of newer industries that maybe people couldn't take advantage of before. Health and wellness is one. People are now realizing they're living longer, and because of that, they wanna find a way to have a higher quality of life for a longer period of time. So there's health and wellness is one industry you're gonna see, which kind of dovetails into nutrition side. You're also gonna see other different types of technology that maybe at one point were much more complicated where now it's gonna be something that a lot of people can understand because they're actually gonna break it down into simple modules where people can invest just as a community. And that actually comes into what Karma's doing because our technology is gonna be open to our nonprofits and to membership organizations. So with the event platform they had, and we have events, we've done everything from Playboy Mansion to Maxim to Twitter to Fox News to crazy events called the Candy Cruise, 
And we're looking forward to doing more events, both domestic and internationally. And we hope if you want to learn more about Karma International, you can go to our website at www.karmainternational.com. And all I want to wish for all of you is this is the next day for you to have better karma.